Hi, I'm Sean Yan, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about higher order derivatives. And for each problem, we're going to find the indicated derivative with respect to x. So if I was given this derivative, y equals a negative 5x to the fourth, and we want to find d to the fourth power y over dx to the fourth. So the fourth derivative here, okay? Well, to get to the fourth derivative, I need to find the first derivative. So dy dx, we use the power rule. Okay, four comes out. Four times five is twenty, right? So we have a negative twenty here. X to the subtract so using the exponent four minus one is three. So if our here first derivative derivative is negative twenty x to the third power. Again, that four times five gave me that negative twenty. So that's first derivative. Now I need to find the second derivative. So d uh, squared y over dx squared. And again, again, I have to use the power rule. 3 times 20 is 60, so we have a negative 60 right there because it was negative 20. x squared, and we subtract the exponent by 1. So our second derivative here is a negative 60 x squared. I need to find the third derivative to get to the fourth, right? So the third derivative, d3y over dx to the third, 2 times 60 is 120, right? So we have a negative 120 right there. Don't forget the negative. x to the first power. We just leave it with x, so we subtract the exponent. So we do the power rule a third time. But we have to do the power rule not three times, not five times. Don't go too far to five, but just four times. So we have the fourth derivative here, d to the fourth power y over dx to the fourth. That, using the power rule, the 1 comes down and is just ne uh, negative 120 right there, okay? And the x ends up being eliminated. Uh, out is x to the 0 power, which is just 1. And here we have our final answer. The fourth derivative of our y function is a negative 120. So let's recap. We're given y equals negative 5x to the fourth, and I need to find the fourth derivative. I use the power rule to get negative 20x to the third power. I get the power rule a second time to get the second derivative, negative 60x to the second power, right? Apply the same power rule. Then we have the third derivative, use the power rule a third time to get a one, negative 120x right there. And finally, the fourth time, uh, we had to use the power rule to get our fourth derivative. And so we have d to the fourth power y over dx to the fourth is equal to a negative 120.